Hi, I'm Heidi Joy Trethaway with the OpenStack Foundation here with Doug Hellman. And Doug, I wanted to ask you a little bit more about all of these changes happening with the PTG. Can you tell us why we're going to a shorter, uh, shorter release this time? Yeah, so the, the Akata cycle is going to be about 16 weeks, which is about six weeks shorter than the Newton cycle was. And that is so that we can align the release schedule with the project team gathering events instead of with the summits. So that puts us uh, the summits in the middle of the cycle and the project team gatherings at the beginning and end of the cycle. Yeah. And with a shorter time frame, what kinds of things will be, the team be focusing on? So we've encouraged all of the different teams to focus on uh, stability and bug fixes and performance improvements and that sort of thing, rather than adding a bunch of new features. And that's not a requirement that's been set, so different teams are going to approach that in different ways. Uh, there will be new features, but that's probably not going to be the emphasis for a lot of teams okay. this time around. And tell us, what do you think some of the challenges will be for uh, Okada or just for having a shorter release cycle? Yeah, so the, the shorter cycle meant we had to cut a little bit of time out in places where we usually like to have a little bit of extra time. So we cut a little at the end of the cycle between uh, tagging the initial release candidates and tagging that final release. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we're going to be emphasizing that teams need to stabilize things sooner so that they can take uh, it, that cut into account. Uh, we also, because of when things are falling, we had to schedule around holidays and, and beginning of the year and that sort of thing. So it was a little bit interesting to find good deadline dates where people would actually be around to uh, work on the projects. That's always a challenge yeah. with a global team. Right, exactly. So you ta talked about some of the, the short-term, uh, more limiting factors, um, but what's the big benefit overall? Right, so the, the benefit is that we get aligned with the project team gatherings so that we will be collecting feedback from users at summits and the new forum event starting in Boston, and then uh, that will feed into the work that the teams will start doing at the project team gathering. So the, the sessions today with the operators will feed into the work that we're planning to do for the Okada cycle and starting at the Pike cycle in February. Right. And um, what should end users look for? What, what can they expect out of Okada and then out of Pike? So, uh, again, it's going to be, we hope, a lot more stability work rather than feature work so that uh, users should not expect a lot of new features this cycle. Uh, it won't be a list of zero features, but it won't be quite the list that we've had this time. Okay. What else do you want to add? Uh, I just want to emphasize also that uh, we will be going back to a longer cycle starting with Pike. So we don't have the full dates set for that yet. Some of that will depend on venue selection and things like that for the project team gathering. Um, but it should be back to about a six month cycle after that. And then we, we expect to continue that. So this is a one time thing we hope. Yeah. Well, huge congratulations are in order for the entire 2,500 plus developers who delivered Newton with every critical feature on time. That was spectacular. Yeah, I was very pleased with how well we hit our deadlines. Great. This time Thank you so much, Doug, for being here. Thanks, Heidi.